Oh yes, we are back with the juice booster. So I figured that I should make a new version of this. Well, it's a, it's like a follow-up uh, video of the juice booster. And for you guys who don't know what the juice booster is, here it is. Uh, let me twist it this way so you see. It's a portable uh, charging station with built-in RCD and pretty robust. So. Um, I ran over it with Optimus Prime, it survived, I couldn't kill it, uh, so I had to just fix it. So now it's it's IP67 again, yes. Uh, but you know what, we have this adapter here, I'm going to test. They they made a new adapter. This one is for the, the Norwegian 230 volt 3 phase that only Norway and Albania has. Norway has like two things in common. We have the worst uh, roads in the world, just like Albania. And we have this uh, IT network, uh, yes. So you see, this is a standard single phase, 230 volt, and this is the three phase, right? Uh, but okay, you know what? So I figure that uh, I'm gonna make a new video because you guys are the best, yeah. You guys are the best at complaining without knowing the circumstances. So, you know, last time I couldn't get my uh, juice booster to work. Uh, because it was like there was like some error blinking on the was I was again it says no earth yeah no earth detected so I used I looked up on the manual of course I did that already before I shot the video which you guys didn't know and you know so com common thing is that first I look on uh, those errors right I found the I found the page where these errors were this like were described and then it says Okay, look at section 15. So then if you look at section 15, it says false indications. And then I was like, okay, what is this? Okay, it's the, the type, the D one, the default, the no earth, okay? And then you look on what, what was the D, the default. And you see it says earth conductor monitoring fail. There might not be an earth conductor connected to this outlet. It says danger with red. Electric shock has, I was like, oh shit, I've been charging on this for a while. Uh, lucky I didn't get electrocuted. So it says, do not charge at this installation. There's a risk of electric shock and blah, blah. Uh, so, you know what, that got me unsure. So that's why <laughs> I didn't try to push to get it to charge because I figured I trusted the, the equipment. Uh, there, of course, there should have been a side note there saying that if you're a Viking living in Norway, then you have to follow this procedure to turn off Earth. So I'm gonna show you now how you can turn off Earth and go to Mars, yeah. <laughs> so now on my wall, I have this uh, 32 amp three phase uh, socket. And you see here that, um, right, so I've been using this one, this part, which is this three phase with four pins. So this one fits in here like this. And then uh, the UMC, let me unplug this one. You see the UMC uses, of course, the single phase. Uh, so then they put it in there. So uh, I had to always use this adapter, right? In order to charge on the UMC. And then, well, I also had to use this adapter uh, if you want to use uh, the juice booster. But now, juice booster people, they made a dedicated adapter, which is this one. No, wait, that's the wrong one. This one, of course, you see? That's, of course, the old one, the single face. And this is the three, the, the three face. So it goes right in there like this, and then you connect this end to the juice booster thing. Should I touch it? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you can't kill Tesla Bjorn that easily. But yeah, so um, where have you connect? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good test, by the way. That was a human test to see if this, because we have like live pins here, right? <gasps> so now we can put this, connect this one to the juice booster and let's turn off earth. Uh, and because we have some distance over there to the car, we're going to use the extension cord, which is um, a fat cable. It's very fat, like I mentioned last time, you know, it's very heavy because it can support up to 22 kilowatts. So it's like a, uh, a non-standard extension cable, but all you have to do is just connect this one, that one, pull it there, now it's, now it's connected, and then we pull the rest of the cable over there. So now this thing is set to standard. Well, it doesn't show here, but uh, let's see what happens when you plug it in. Open the charge board. 
plug it in it is uh, green and then let's check it out is it charging is it charging it starts to charge and uh, what the heck why is it working now okay this is where we're because it works now i'm supposed to i switch it to the standard mode which shouldn't work like it didn't work last time right uh, I also try like the other, the, the, the old adapter where you connect the first plug, plug to the second one and then use the single phase uh, juice booster plug and it still works for charging. So uh, now we're going to try the Shuku then. Because now I use this different one, I use this one. I use the Shuku adapter and it detects that we are in Norway. Hmm, impressive. But what happens if we plug in now? Uh, this is really weird like why is it suddenly working now and why didn't it work last time you know huh. uh, Okay, so it, it blinks green all right, let's check it out. Is it charging? It's just starting to charge at it <laughs> and for some reason it charges now <laughs> so that is really weird like what? Um, it's a it's a mystery why it didn't work the first time I tried it and I was fiddling around for the longest time. Um, so, um, you see, now it, it is charging. It detects that uh, Nor we are in Norway, but I will show you anyway how you can change the setting. So right now, th this is like a multi-display. So now it displays this part, like it's, it can charge at 13 amp. When we had the blue plug pl plugged in, it showed 32 amp, the maximum. So what you have to do, uh, if you want to change from the standard to uh, this one, which is a well, actually, but that one, Earth Off, is you have to hold down this button for five seconds, and then you can change mode. You see, UK, France, Norway, and then switch off Earth. So um, uh, after the video, after so many people complain, I tried this, and then suddenly it worked in this mode but I don't know why <laughs> suddenly when we try today then um, the standard mode also works here uh, maybe uh, my network my power network is moody it was in a bad mood last time <laughs> so yes uh, but you know what when I use that adapter uh, the three phase adapter they have only connected to the one phase because I was hoping, I had wet dreams that I would be able to utilize the three phases, right? And I get like, uh, I think it was like 12 kilowatt from the plug here. But uh, it can only pull 7.4 kilowatt. But, um, you know, with the adapter, uh, it is possible. They could have connected it just like they did it in, in, um, uh, in the, the Tesla wall box. Because then on 32 amp, you can pull 8.4 kilowatt. So this is very like Norway specific where uh, if you use the Tesla wall box, then you get, you can pull out 8.4 kilowatts. So it's slightly more juice, you know, per hour. Uh, so I was wondering like, would it be useful if they made such an adapter? Like, would you guys, well, I mean, I guess I can, I can ask Norwegians and Albanians, like, would you guys like one of those adapters so you can actually pull out more from this? Um, yeah. And uh, like, how useful is this thing? Well, you know what? There, there is this like wall socket holder so you can have it like mounted on the wall and then it becomes uh, a charging station like a per like we call it like a semi-permanent charging station uh, so it depends on your needs like if you mostly charge at home then you can just have this one at your home and then if you occasionally go on a trip then you can bring it with you um, and the advantage with this one is that it has a built-in RCD so actually on the, on the socket on the wall here, uh, when I install it, I also had to pay extra uh, for the RCD in the fuse box. I don't remember how much it was, but it was like, you know, there was extra cost, uh, some, some uh, 200, uh, 300 uh, euros extra. So this one has a built-in RCD, so it means that if you're on a trip and you connect it to various adapters, you still have that protection in here and in the car, yeah. And also, uh, this one is also useful for Zoe owners because uh, the Zoe owners, if they use this on the trip and they connect it to the 400 volt 32 amp, then they get the full speed 
at least those Zoe's, yeah. Of course, you can also go even higher, but uh, I mean, yeah, Zoe people, they know what this one can do for you, yeah. So, I think that will be it, the juice booster. This time, it worked for me, woohoo, <laughs> yeah. So, um, that's it for now then. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, so talk to you later.